your blog. It's like, let's look at what does work. Let's look at opportunities and possibilities for the future for our kids, for things they can do. Not yeah, so that's beating really, our heads about what they can't. <laughs> yeah, and you know, there, there's a point where you keep trying when you keep thinking maybe it can click. Mm -hmm. And then there are some things that really just aren't going to click. And dyscalculia yeah. is one of them that doesn't tend to really click. And so mm -hmm. there's a point. It's not about giving up. It's about yeah. recognizing let's move on because mm -hmm. demoralizing a child is not going to help. Right. And your frustration developing comes out in all kinds of ways, which are really super unhelpful for the entire circumstance with your with your kids. It, it ruins the relationship. Mm -hmm. It makes your yeah. child feel like they really can't do things and they can do all kinds of things just exactly. not that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, we went to a calculator at about, yeah. I think at about 16, we went mm -hmm. to a calculator and said, okay. And um, so she knows processes and she can do all kinds of things with the calculator. But um, on the other hand, Kenny did pre-calc. So, you know, I mean, it, every child <laughs> is different and there is no... There, there's, there's right. No you can have the same there. diagnoses. And I was on the phone today with a mom. She's like, okay, my child's on the autism spectrum. What curriculum should I use? And I'm like, well, tell me about your child. I, yeah. I'm not, yeah, I like really autism. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. we, we I, talked I, for I, a long time and yes, we finally figured out some options. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and, and don't you wish it were that easy? Oh, gosh. I know. <laughs> I know. It, <laughs> we, exactly. we, unfortunately, my husband, um, was absolutely super through all of this. And I'd buy things and they wouldn't work. And I'd buy things and try again. And nope, that's not going to work either. And he said, you know, no matter how much you spend on curriculum, it's never even going to come close to the cost of one student for private school. So I get it. Just keep trying. That and, is so true. Yeah. yeah and you know, it's, I think mm -hmm. sometimes um, none of us have money. None of us have extra money. We're all mm -hmm. sort of struggling to make this happen. I think most of us are. Yeah. But when you really start putting things into perspective, the trial and error piece with kids that are special needs mm -hmm. is super important. You it's cannot stick with important. something that's not going to work. Yeah. It, it, there's, mm -hmm. It's pointless. Yeah. And, it, and I, you know, and I think that so begins agree. to create that friction between educator and student. And it can be avoided, but you know, yeah. you have to be willing to ditch it and try again. So exactly. And, yeah. So, one of the articles we put on our website was when I said my my middle one and I have finally that final draw. And it was, I, I wrote about when your, your, your high school student derails your homeschool plan. <laughs> and it can happen. <laughs> yes, it can. And it ended up being the best thing for him, you know, and he's still trying to figure it out, but aren't we all? <laughs> so, I am at my yeah.